for joining me again YouTube. This is the 31 days of BPD and it is day 7. I'm going through the DSM-5 um, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Men Mental Disorders version 5 and I'm on uh, symptom number 3 from the 9 symptoms of borderline personality disorder. Remember you need to have 5 or more to be given a diagnosis. So number three, identity disturbance. Persistent and markedly disturbed, distorted or unstable self-image or sense of self. That's a lot of words in there. So, so it's called an identity disturbance. So this really means that not knowing who you are. It's simple as that. For me, it was going through my life being in one group of friends and then different groups and then different types of clothes and different, I would, I would adapt, I'd be like a chameleon to anyone I was with, I would adapt to them. I would fit with them. For me, going, getting ready to go to events, I'd make sure that I was dressed appropriately. If I wasn't, wasn't dressed appropriately, I'd probably have a panic attack. Um, and I, I'd find that, yeah, whoever I was with, I just adapted to them to fit, to please them, the whole fear of abandonment, you see. So I'd be kind of being chummy with them, being friends with them, maybe having that intense feeling, that intense relationship with them. So much so that I did this with so many people that I lost who I was because I'd always be adapting to fit with other people. Sorry, I keep meaning to put that down. So identity disturbance. So I and you'll look back on some of my um, earlier videos um, about my journey, the who am I video. And all my life I'd been, I didn't know who I was. That's because I was having, excuse me again, that's because I was having um, persistent and markedly disturbed, distorts, distorted or unstable uh, sense of self. So I didn't know who I was because I was constantly being a chameleon. You know, I, I was good at, I was good at sort of um, performing and music and things like that. But I could also be, you know, very. I could also be quite intelligent. I could also be quite funny, quite silly. Other, with other people, it was just purely sexual, so it was just a sexual thing. Um, but I, I never knew if I was nice. I never knew if I was clever. I never knew if I was funny or fun or was I evil? Was I cruel? Was I kind? Was I funny? I've said that one. Um, and I would, yeah, so just constantly be adapting for fear of if I showed my real self, they wouldn't like it. And by not knowing who you are, especially in a time when you're supposed to be finding yourself, and everyone seems to be kind of like, yeah, I know who I am, I've got that sorted. Well, I might not be overtly saying that, but I always got the feeling that, you know, that person was like that and that person was like that. But I'd be like this person just constantly switching. And it would be really, really confusing because I'd be like, well, like I say, I didn't know who I was. So, an, an unstable self-image. So, it's not just about the, the qualities that you bring, your characteristic, your characteristics or your, your, your soul or your, you know, who you are. But actually how you look will be dis, 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 disturbed. You know, because you know, you'll if you'll see yourself through one person's eyes, and you'll see some yourself through another person's eyes, and you'll be seeing everything through someone else's point of view rather than yours. And of course, you can't, you can't, you know, actually find out what people are thinking. It's impossible to know what people are thinking. And I've tried to do that my entire life. I've tried to live up to that person thinks this about me, so therefore I must behave this way. Um, you know, all my life doing that. And if this is something that maybe you do, do you know who you are? Have you struggled with how you're feeling? Please put anything in the comments below relating to this or anything I'm talking about today. You know, did, did you feel that you were less of a person or more of a person? For me, you know, I'd sort of have these waves of anxiety, but then I'd have this overwhelming urge to overcompensate. So a lot of people saw me as this very confident, very, um, you know, strong, you know, good sense of humour. Some people saw me like that. Other people saw me as a bitch. Other people saw me, they hated me. You know, people that I didn't get on with at school, people that I didn't, that I've met in my life that have taken one look at me and gone, yep, you're horrible. You know, and I've, I've, you know, that's one area as well. So you really do have this huge identity disturbance. I can't really explain it any more than that. But 
it really does this will have a severe impact on your life because you will not be behaving in a right in the right way because you won't know who you are so you don't know which behavior pertains to you or is it something you've made up and it's a real journey of discovery once you get your diagnosis if if you've just been diagnosed with BPD it's a real journey of discovery because through that journey you end up finding out who you are like more recently you know in the last sort of 18 months two years I've started to learn who I am and, and it sounds silly but I write down things when I think that's who I am so I know for for now that so these are a few trivial things but you know it all adds up but I know that I love animals clear and I know that I love animals I'm a vegetarian I um, avoid you know any products with that I've talked about that before but that's something that I was like Oh, that's that is me. No, that is me. Okay, it's one little thing, but it's something that I can say, that's me, and that was a real first because I'd kind of be, yeah, that's me, that's me, that's me for all these things. I love music, I love art, I love drama, I love da 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 da. I love books, I love films, I love, you know, all these things. I'd try and be getting my finger in every pie that I could possibly do, because I didn't know which one was me. But now I know that, you know, I I love my films. I love horror films. I love thrillers. I love anything that pushes the boundaries. But those are things I like. It's easy to say that. But who am I as a person? Well, I know that I am intelligent. And that's really hard to say because for many, many years we'll have the, the fat, ugly, stupid thing that I was called many, many times. But I know that I have intelligence. Why do I know that? Because I have a degree. That's my challenging. We'll talk about challenging at another time. But yeah, I know that I've, I got my degree. I got a 2-1. And I worked in marketing, I worked in PR and, and uh, communications and things like that. So I know that I have the intelligence to do that. Um, little things like that. So I, 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 my identity disturbance, when I first read this, number three, I was like, that is me. Who am I? Who am I? And with, with the help and with therapy, I'm, you know, learning all the different facets to my personality that are unique to me that I've created and actually you'd be surprised how many of the things that I've picked up over the years that I probably wouldn't have picked up if I hadn't had BPD for example you know loving of, of different types of music um, with different people I've been out with they've all introduced me for, to different aspects of music and I've loved every single one so I've got a very eclectic taste in music now you know from sort of you know really kind of like East Coast hip-hop to um, you know, 1930s jazz, you know, it, and, and those are things you can start to write down and say, yes, this is me, this is me. Anyway, this video is going on a bit too long. I hope that makes sense for the identity disturbance. So you won't really know who you are. You won't really understand your self-image. You're kind of maybe trying to create something. I know over the years I've tried every look imaginable and everyone says I have an eclectic taste in, in um, my clothes and things like that. And that's again, probably from BPD, from picking up things that I've liked over the years and then mushing it all together. I hope that makes sense. Um, please put any comments, questions in the space below. It'd be really good to have a com conversation about this um, online. Please tell me about things that you've learned about yourself if, you, if you're coming um, if you're beginning to understand your illness and your uh, your BPD or maybe tell me about what things do you you had identity disturbances about because there's a lot more than just kind of the how your appearance and things like that thanks for watching this has been video 7 of the 31 days of BPD I hope you can join me tomorrow for day 8 take care and thanks for watching bye now